Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexandria. And on my channel, I talk about self-love, entrepreneurship, lifestyle, and you know, just the black woman going for it pretty much. First, we're gonna light a candle. And this candle, it smells so good. It's the Born to Win candle from my brand Bessie Faith. Blueberry Lambert says we're just gonna light a candle, but okay. So now we still the candle. So how my self-love journey changed my life was it was about me learning how to love me so others' love for me was extra and not a necessity. I'm going to say it again. It was about learning how to love me and how I desired to be loved so others, I wasn't dependent on others to love me. And when they did love me, it was extra. And so realizing that, that loving myself and God's love was enough, was very, very um, important for me. I was seeking validation from others. I was um, people pleasing and I would get upset because I wasn't celebrated. I wasn't celebrated by others. In reality, I should have been celebrating myself. And um, celebrating me more looked like me um, going out and celebrating my own birthday. I would get in a mood and I would say, you know, my birthday isn't important. Don't nobody do nothing for it anyway. But in reality, I should not have been feeling like that. And the only reason I was feeling like that was because deep down inside, I wanted others to celebrate me. And I did not need others to celebrate my birthday. I could celebrate my birthday myself the way I wanted to. And it was that point, um, just realizing that if you want to celebrate your birthday, Xandria, celebrate your birthday. You don't need nobody else to celebrate you. Give you the gift that you want. You can go to the store, buy your gift that you want, wrap that mofo up, and then, you know, gift it to yourself on your birthday. Or you can have some flowers sent to you on your birthday yourself you do not have to wait for others to celebrate your birthday um so when i celebrated my birthday for the first time last year it was the best birthday ever because i wasn't dependent on my husband i wasn't dependent on my family i wasn't dependent on my friends to celebrate my birthday um i celebrated myself i booked a trip to chicago with a complete stranger shout out to Brittany and we went to Chicago and I had the best time of my life so um another thing was just building my relationship with God was a huge part of my self-love journey I noticed that in my past years like my relationship with God I believe in God I believe that God is everything you know I'm thankful to him for everything that he does for me but I was not <laughs> Um, my spirituality and my, my faith in God was not there. Our relationship was not there. So starting to pray more and starting to, um, go to church, um, starting to, I use the, um, version app to do devotionals and starting to understand things and also just praying to God, like, God, would you please give me the strength to love myself and not need it from others? Lord, would you give me the strength to, um, what did I pray for? <laughs> Lord, would you give me the strength to have the courage to do things um, that I wouldn't normally do by myself? Lord, would you help me build a closer relationship to you? And I also had a friend um, Melissa, she's my um, church pastor at Soul Revival. Shout out to Melissa. She's very God fearing, and it's nice to have a person like that in your life on your self love journey. I cannot stress enough because when you lose faith in you, hold on, let me make sure this is recording, y'all. <laughs> okay. okay, we're back in action. Because when you lose your faith or if you're questioning God or even wanting to build a closer relationship with God, it's nice to have those who have those close bonds with God. And she was a, a stepping stone because I remember 
people tell me, oh, you're too emotional, it's Nandra, you're too emotional. And I told her that. And she pretty much said to me, um, God made you emotional and you should never be afraid of that. And that is not a weakness. Being emotional does not mean you're weak because I am far from weak. So now when um, people be like, is Nandra, you're so emotional, you're so sensitive. I say, yes, I am sensitive and I am emotional. And if that makes you uncomfortable, we do not have to be around each other. You do not have to be subject to me crying, being emotional, and being sensitive. And that is okay with me. And when I tell people that, I even tell my husband that, um, they look at me like, so, yes. So, that's how it changed, you know, my, like, loving, starting my self-love journey and with loving myself. And also with God, knowing my happiness is from him. He is the source. And... And my happiness is from me as well. And in the combination of that, our relationship, in our relationship, meaning God plus me, I am happy. He provides all the happiness that I need. Am I happy 24-7? No. But when those days that I am not happy, I know to go to him in prayer and give it to him. And another thing of how my self-love journey changed my life is... <clears throat> I start choosing me more. I start pleasing me first. And that was showing up in my um, friendships, um, wanting to always do stuff for others, um, showing up in my relationship, my family ships, if that's the thing. I have to choose me. And when I was not choosing me, I was not happy. So for example, um, I'll go back to the birthday thing. You know, I would want my husband to do something extravagant for me or something. And um, I would get disappointed. And so I chose me. And, like, I'm not going to wait for nobody to celebrate my birthday. I'm going to plan my birthday. I was going to be by. My birthday this year going to be by. Hmm. Um, another way where I chose me was just saying no. Um... I noticed that I would get upset if others were not supporting me the way that I supported them. But how can you expect someone to support you when you not aren't supporting yourself? So for me, for my journals, <laughs> I was like, okay, this person ain't shared nothing. They ain't bought nothing. They ain't did nothing to show that they are um, supporting me. And that would irritate my soul. So now... I looked at it in self-reflection and doing shadow work. Well, Alexandria, you don't even post your items every day. So why are you expecting somebody else to believe in your product where they don't even see you posting it every day and they are not obligated to you? And I thought to myself, like, dang, I do not post my products every day. I do not share what I have upcoming every day. And I should, what I'm wanting from others, I should want from myself. And so... With that, I started sharing my products more. I started sharing what I'm doing more than I'm sharing other people's things. And that was the part of me, like, choosing me, pleasing myself first, um, sharing my products first. And there's nothing wrong with that. So that is how self-love journey has changed my life. It's helped build my relationship with God. It's helped me build my relationship with myself like dating myself again like my presence with myself I am just so in love with going on dates with myself I love that <laughs> um and the, the number one thing I love most of all is building my relationship with God so let me just go building my relationship with God um relationship is so good right now very 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 good and I'm using the you version app by doing devotionals and reading the verses of the day um, learning how to love me so that I don't need it from others and that it is extra and loving me was looking like just celebrating myself and another thing was just choosing me choosing me more and pleasing myself first so that is how it changed my life I have been so much happier yes I have my days but I've been happier mentally and emotionally um and i will say that i don't want to say that my self-love journey is over it is not i say your self-love journey once you start it it's always ever evolving and flourishing and growing and helping you become a better you so 
right now I'm in the self-love journey of putting myself out there. Um, especially with my business, putting myself out there and <laughs> going for the life I desire, getting uncomfortable, getting uncomfortable. If you don't know what self-love is, feel free to check out um, the video that is coming. Um, if you want to know, you know, some easy steps to how to start your self-love journey, how you can do it, feel free to catch the next video. Um, that's coming next week Thursday and you will love it. I will be going into detail of how you start your self-love journey. So if you are wanting to know how to start your love self-love journey and you know how to do it, what things could you implement, feel free to check. If you want to know how to start your own self-love journey and how to do it, you want to catch the video that's coming next week Thursday and I'll be telling you some steps that I did in detail and that will help you as well when you're on your self-love journey. My name is Alexandria and I am a black woman going for it and doing it well. All right, bye.